It's Ashlyn and Jocelyn here with your KCAV news. Hey Jocelyn, with it already being over one year in quarantine, have you acquired any new hobbies? Well, yeah, actually I have. I've been working out and honestly, it's been giving me a lot of energy. What about you? I've redecorated my room about a hundred times, but after a year, I'm finally almost done. That's a very unique way of making time pass by. You know what else is a unique hobby? What? Horseback riding. And lucky for you, we have this clip to show you just how fun it is. 280 is Emma Crossley. Hi, my name is Emma. I've been riding horses, horses since I was seven, and that's my hobby. So I sometimes get nervous when I like before I go into the ring for a horse show, um, but honestly, you just have to walk. Like I just walk in. And once I'm going, you, you just can't even think about it anymore. So that's kind of how I deal with nerves, but I, in general, like, don't get too, too nervous. Um, I've been riding since I was seven, I think, and I started doing it every other week, and then slowly once a week, and I've never taken a break, and now I ride um, six times a week. <laughs> Um, competing is super fun. I love doing it. It's a lot of fun to win stuff because it's just nice. Um, but I, I, at the end of the day, it's all about the horses. And I love competing because I love riding in general. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Wow, I've never actually seen anybody compete. Yeah, me neither. But from what I saw, she did an amazing job. Well, now I wonder what our fellow calves do for their hobbies. Thankfully, we had the opportunity to ask them. Roll the clip. Hey calves, it's Sandy with Question of the Week. And this week, I'm gonna ask, what is your unusual hobby? And my unusual hobby is rating apples. I really like uh, Gala, Fuji, and Honeycrisp apples. Those are all legendary. Everyone should try them. Um, but the ones that I will never eat, ever again, are um, Red Delicious and Granny Smith. Yeah, I will not take criticisms. It would be like photo card collecting. I collect albums and from those, they include a photo card and I just have been collecting them for a few months now. I would say an unusual hobby that I have is painting on old vinyls that I buy like secondhand. And it's just a fun way to like paint your favorite music albums and your own artistic representation. Um, so yeah, that's a fun hobby that I have. My unusual hobby is collecting flowers. So this is my oldest one and these are my newest ones. I would say my unusual hobby is voice acting. I don't plan on making a career out of it or anything, but I enjoy going to auditions and it's fun for me. Well, that is all for question of the week. Now let's get back to your hosts. It's incredible how people can enjoy doing different things. I wish I had some of the skills they have. Yeah, me too. But remember, everyone is unique in their own way. That is so true. But even if you aren't the best at doing something, you should at least give it a try. Yep. And maybe you could end up loving something that you used to not like doing. Right? But now let's see one of our calves attempting to do something. He isn't the best. Hey calves, it's Enzo. Today, I've decided to teach myself a hobby that I am bad at, painting. I have little to no experience with painting. I have decided that I'm going to be painting a beautiful beach sunset. Mm. 
so I'm going to start with a little bit of this. That looks... I forgot water. I forgot. Forgot water. We have water. I should not have done this in one of my favorite videos. Oh, no. Okay. It's not my... I did not... I, why did I get newspaper? There's a dead bug in my water. It's on my desk. It's on my desk. It's on my... I got newspaper. I got newspaper. I don't think I have blue. We're going with light green. I dip my sleeves in the paint again. These are my mom's paints, and she will not be happy if I, she finds out I'm using them. Oh, not again. And so have you seen my paints? No. Can paint expire? I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. Ugh. Finish the painting. Here it is. What a beautiful sunset. That turned out better than expected. I bet you Bob Ross would be proud. He most certainly will. I bet he would also be very proud if you got more involved with activities and clubs at school. Now let's check out Club Muse to hear what information they have for us regarding activities to become more involved. Hey, it's Charlotte here with your Club News. Are you searching for a safe space where you could be yourself and find some self-care tips? Well, the Bring Change to Mind Club focuses on bringing awareness and education to the community by ending the stigma on mental health and provides a safe space for students. More information is at their Instagram page at BC2M Cleveland. Also, Samian Voices meets every Thursday at 4 p.m. on Zoom. Check out the Instagram at Samian Voices for more information or text 81010 at Samian. In case you missed this week's pet day, Panda Club made sure the rest of our Cavaliers could celebrate with their furry friends. Here are some pictures. That's it for your club news. Now let's check out Pin Pals Club. Y'all, y'all should join Pin Pals Club. Hello, my name is Emily Chen. I'm the president of Pin Pals Club. And, and here's me holding our mascot, Clover the Corgi. And as you can see here, I'm designing a pin design. And in our club, we make pins and stickers based off designs from our members and, you know, from our board itself. So here's, you know, one of the stickers that we made. And it's going to pan to some more stickers that we've also created and designed by our members and the board. So you should join our club because we make stickers based on monthly themes that are decided by the members. And if you care about a cause and you want it to spread awareness about it, you should come to us and we can help you with that. So, yeah. And we meet every other Wednesday, so it'd be nice if you could stop by. If you want more information on us, follow us on our Instagram at pinpalsclubchs or text 81010 at pinpalsc to get our reminds. So we hope to see you soon. Pinpals has a lot of interesting facts on their Instagram. For example, did you know koalas sleep for about 18 hours a day? No, I did not know that. But I bet if I was following their Instagram, I'd be aware of that and a bunch of other interesting facts. Since you're a senior, do you ever want to sleep like a koala? Well, to be honest, yes. I could really use sleeping for 18 hours, but I can't since senior year makes me really super busy. Yeah, I can imagine having to apply to colleges and figuring out what you're going to do with your life after high school. But luckily, here's senior news to help you not fall behind. Good morning, Cavs. It's Lauren here with your senior news. It's time for our seniors to start preparing for their graduation. So please make sure to go buy your graduation cords if you have not done so already. They are $15 each, cash only. And I don't know about you guys, but I miss all the singing and dancing and everything we used to do at school. Well, lucky for our seniors, we will be having a virtual senior arts showcase next Friday, April 23rd. You can find your friends performing their special talents so you do not want to miss out. That's it for your senior news. Now, back to your hosts. Can't believe we're getting so close to summer again and graduation is right around the corner. I know, I am going to miss my senior friends. Luckily, some kids are going to college locally, so you will still be able to see them. True. And it's so interesting that some of our unique hobbies can be turned into a career. I know, there's a school and a major for everyone and everything. So let's head on over to College News to learn more. Hi Cavs, it's Sarah here with your College News. I have some exciting news. A new scholarship opportunity is here from City Councilman John Lee. Make sure to go to Schoology and check out the flyer that's attached on there to apply. The due date will be on April 30th. 
Also, the two scholarship deadlines for the California Armenian Legislative has been extended. Ninth through 12th graders are able to compete in a contest by making a video or writing an essay to increase awareness about the Armenian genocide on its anniversary. There will be three winners for the essay and three winners for the video. More amazing news, Cavs, this one, especially for our juniors and seniors. There are more than 500 scholarships being rewarded this year. To qualify, fill out the application at sigep.org slash scholarships. Well, Cavs, that's it for your college news now. Back to your host. The college I attend has a gym for me to continue working out. You keep reminding me that I need to start and get my energy back up. Well, you reminded me that my room needs something new. Now that everything is getting so busy, I feel like I've run out of time for new hobbies. It's never too late to start exercising, change your room, or to learn a new hobby. You're right. Speaking of late, let's hear some late breaking news. Hey, what's up, Cavs? It's Shaylee here with your late breaking news. Students who plan to return to campus for in-person, hybrid instruction, school will begin the week of April 26th. Ninth grade students who plan to return April 27th should book their COVID test appointments between April 20th through April 25th. 10th through 12th grade students who plan on returning April 29th should book their COVID test appointments April 22nd through April 27th. For more information, check the Cleveland website if you are planning on returning. Students planning to take AP exams, there's an AP digital app available. Here is a shortcut on the screen. You must know your username and password and the school code. The school code will also be shown on the screen. Well, Cavs, that's it for your late breaking news. Now back to your host. You know what else made a late breaking appearance? Yes, outdoor sports. Let's roll the clip of some of our Cavs back in action. Hey Cavs, the sports are officially back at the land. So it's a here with your sports news. At the moment, spectators are not yet allowed, but stay tuned to KCAF to find out all you need to know about this semester's sports teams. Last week, our football team lost against Granada Hills 32 20, but I'm sure they'll have better luck this week. Also last week, our cross country team ended their season with a scrimmage against Canoga Park and won. Once again, a reminder that spectators are not yet allowed, but make sure to stay safe, cheer them on from home, and come back next week for more updates on sports. Now roll the clip of our Cavs back in action. time for our weekly traditions of birthday shout outs happy birthday to april from alex and the cheerleaders happy birthday to hannah from amelie happy birthday to leslie lopez from charlene happy birthday to Alyssa from your good and amazing friend sandy happy birthday to maria esquivel from three friends happy birthday to miranda from me happy birthday to jackie from your bestie Happy birthday to Kayla Niblett from the Cheerleaders. Happy birthday to Manuel Diaz from Edgar Rivas. And happy birthday to Max from Maddie and Alexis. Well, Cavs, thanks for tuning in to this week's show. See you next week. Same time. Same place. Here with your Casey. AV KCAV News. <laughs>